really been a very strong manufacturing state. Our voters just recently uh, adopted a renewal of something called Third Frontier. And this is actually the voters authorizing that bonds be sold in order to create money to allow new and innovative companies, especially in energy and healthcare, to grow in Ohio. And our legislature has adopted an energy policy that requires the state by the year 2025 to produce 25% of its electricity from alternative sources. So as a result, there is great growth and promise in innovation and new energy technologies. And so we believe that you will find Ohio to be a promising business climate with friendly people who are willing to work hard. You will find a strong network of state universities and community colleges who partner well with businesses, especially emerging technology. An interwoven pattern of Chinese and U.S. interests have taken shape to carry forward the mutually beneficial and win-win China-U.S. economic and trade relations is in the fundamental interests of the two countries and the two peoples. And in the golden age of manufacturing and in the time of globalization, Cincinnati has multiple achievements. The history of Cincinnati shows us one thing, to respect and follow the trends of economic development. The U.S. direct investment in China covers almost all sectors including manufacturing, services, finance, and agriculture. Like the Chinese business people present today, I hope that foreign businesses, including, including American ones, will share with their Chinese counterparts the broader market and greater opportunities available in China. I also hope that Ohio and China will raise the sale of free trade and make the dream of economic takeoff come true. Thank you very much.